Can I complete an entire set of Funko Pops in just one day? Over the years of collecting Funko Pops and while I've been on YouTube, I have completed a good handful of sets, but there's some more difficult than others to complete. So today I wanna see if I can complete a set, not just any common set, but something that's a little bit more rare. We're gonna go to some of my local shops that I know have some really good stuff and hopefully we can complete one of the sets that I'm looking for. So without any further ado, let's get started. Here we go. Here we go. Be honest with you guys there are a lot of different Funko Pop sets that I'm looking for so I can't specifically tell you which one like to pinpoint which specific one we're looking for today but I figured this would be a great place to start so if I'm gonna find anything to complete some sets today or piece some sets together this would be a good place to start all right folks I made my way into the back he actually showed me that there is a collection that he hasn't sorted through and I actually do notice a couple of things that are a part of some sets that we're trying to complete like for example I think we actually have this one right here we have Ramon from Cars, but there's a couple that we're missing. I think it's Mater and also just Lightning McQueen, but there is this Mater right here, guys. This is a 1500 piece. It's like the teal, like original Mater, like the color that he had before, you know, obviously the, he was the brown car right there. So that might be one that we pick up today. I'm trying to think what else I saw around here. I mean, besides the sets that we're looking for, they definitely do have some pretty good Star Wars pops, guys. Like you got the Shock Trooper right here. What else do we have? We also have Cad Bane, which is always a good one. You got, uh, I think this is Sabine. Yeah, the Walgreens exclusive Sabine right there. So, I mean, overall, if there's not even some of the, like, the sets that we're looking for, some pieces, there's still some good stuff here. And like I said, he hasn't even sorted through any of this. He's got all these bins right here. And we haven't even gone to his main, you know, floor right over here he just figured he'd bring me back here and show me some of the stuff he has okay but speaking of how to train your dragon guys i don't know if this is really technically a part of the set that we're looking for obviously there's a couple that we're needing when you need astrid barf and belch right there but i don't think i'm really going for the christmas one but that is how to train your dragon and speaking of cars again guys there is another ramon that's right here we have the target exclusive i'll have to ask about that one because i forget that there's a bunch of different cars exclusives that are out there and i know it's a part of the original line that i'm looking for so we might need to check that one off today okay but now that we've gotten the back out of the way and maybe seen a couple of pieces that we want to pick up today we have this whole you know entire shop that we can look through so let's see if i can find some pieces i'm looking for okay so right off the bat guys i do notice a pop right here this is wasabi no ginger from big hero 6 and i think i actually have this one to uh, kind of start off the collection yeah i'm pretty much missing all of the guys on the back there minus wasabi no ginger but it's cool to see a big hero six pop this isn't a set that we're looking for today guys but it is a really cool one we have uh, some of the original jurassic park pops you got john hammond right there you got the sexy dr ian malcolm mr dna so honestly like i said we're not looking for this one today but it's a cool set you gotta show it off over here guys we have some animated pieces this is from how to train your dragon right here and we're trying to complete that set but this is kind of the older set so this is one that we're going to pass on today but you know it is how to train your dragon another one that i'm looking for as well is the uh, god of war pops they don't have them on the back right here but i'm missing atreus and a couple of the other characters so i might pick this one up today i'm trying to debate on it but yeah god of war is another set that i'm looking for there aren't really any marvel sets that i've been looking for but there are i think a couple of the end of the spider verse pops that i'm still looking for so so maybe we'll look through the Marvel to see if we can find any of those Spider-Man pops. But uh, yeah, there's no sets, like I said, that I'm specifically looking for. But I'll still try and highlight some cool pieces. Speaking of Spider-Man, guys, I always think this pop is really awesome. This is a box lunch exclusive. It's the Pizza Pie Day Spider-Man. I don't know what it is. I love the mold on that one. I love how like dynamic it is. You got the cheese flowing out the back right there. Definitely a Spider-Man pop. I already have this one, but I'll keep looking for more. I came over to the front, guys. I'm trying to see if there's anything that I need. I do notice some cool pieces, but I'm not sure if there's there's anything that I'm wanting to specifically pick up. Like I was talking about the Spider-Man pops earlier, guys. This is one that I actually own that I picked up a little bit ago, but we have Peter Parker from Into the Spider-Verse. A couple of them that I'm looking for, like that Miles Morales or Spider-Man Noir, even Prowler would be cool to find. But uh, yeah, that is one that I already have. But I mean, that doesn't distract from the fact that they have a lot of good selection in here, guys. Like Bob's Burgers is another fun set. I think I see some more Bob's Burgers ones over there, but that's a set that I have complete. Yeah, some Walking Dead, some more Marvel. I mean, this whole back wall right here, guys. 
have some pretty good ones too. All right, I came over to the other side of the table, guys. They have some great pieces in here for sure. It looks like they have pretty much the entire set of Bob's Burgers here with the entire family, even Bob and Linda right there. Ted Lasso is an awesome one that's been going up since the show just ended, or at least the series, as far as I know, it just ended, but this is the con stickered one, which is awesome to see. But on the back wall right here, guys, there's a ton of really cool pieces. Like we have some pop rides that are down there. Like we have the Sweet Tooth, we have the Jurassic Park vehicle, we have the A-Team van. So some other really fun pieces like with the walking dead some nfts right there with the jetsons also bam bam that's one that i believe that i'm looking for i'll have to double check yeah if you guys want to take a sneak peek at all of the other stuff that they have there's some great stuff so i browsed through everything here guys i think there are a couple pieces that i'm going to pick up today so we're going to wait for a little bit but i think they're going to be pieces that we pick up from the back right there so we're going to wait a little bit but you guys won't find out until the end of the video but i think this was definitely worth a good visit here today okay folks i ended up going to the main store and I actually see something in this cabinet that I'm going to be picking up today for a set that I'm looking for. And I think it's this right here, guys. This is Kip from Napoleon Dynamite. I believe this is one of the ones that I need. It's funny because I actually came across this a long time ago for retail, but now I kind of have to pay up for it. But hey, it's okay, it's here. We might as well do it for the video and to complete the set. But they've got some other really great stuff in here, guys. If you want to take a peek, other than what I'm looking for, like we got the Space Ghost ones right there, some ad icons, Spider-Man Noir is one that has gone up recently bunch of the pets pops but yeah there is one like i said that kip that i'm going to pick up today but i figured i'd show this case off to you that was in the main store okay so i ran through some of the stuff that was back here guys we're, we're back we're back here again he cannot sell these yet because he's still processing through all these but he's going to set these ones aside for me and uh, i might potentially buy these for my uh you know big hero 6 collection and also cars collection so for right now i'm pretty happy we got one pop from the main store let's head on over to our other locations All right, folks, I am here at stop number two, and this place actually has two different stores that we're gonna go to. And one of the stores is one that you guys are very familiar with, and that would be Pop City, Utah right there. So the majority of what I'm looking for today, guys, isn't gonna be like bigger grail pieces, or at least that I'm thinking of. There might be something that I'm not even, it doesn't even bring to mind right now, but I think a lot of what we're gonna find is gonna be in kind of this more common area where like some of the mid price stuff. So we're definitely gonna take a look through here and kind of go through everything everything see what we can find but I did notice they did have some mystery boxes in here today what are they Marvel and DC 10 bucks maybe we'll have to buy one today I, I don't know even if it's not something that we're looking for today that does tempt me I would say a good majority of what we're looking for today guys is from like animated movies and also you know Disney stuff TV shows that kind of thing so let's kind of take a look in here see if there's anything right off the bat I don't notice stuff but I mean there are a couple of like Pixar things that we're looking for Luca isn't one of them but that's a good example you know kind of that genre that we're looking for I mean we do have some anime stuff there's nothing anime that we are looking for today but they definitely have a good selection although this isn't one that I'm looking for today to complete a set guys this Spongebob one is really awesome I picked it up in another video but I figured I'd show it off to you guys I'm always on the lookout for new Spongebob pops we are looking for some God of War pops today and this is probably going to be one of the closest ones that we come to guys is some of the PlayStation exclusives so we got Sam Porter Bridges from Dead Rising I believe also this guy is from Dead Rising 2 Hids, Higgs I don't even know how you say that I've never played the game but you also have Jin Sakai I think this is from yeah Ghost of Tsushima so yeah PlayStation pops but not the ones that we're looking for so there's actually some sonic pops that i've been looking for that are not these guys right here these are the heavy hitter sonic pops although i do need sonic and tails i'm looking for the more like kind of somewhat newer set that are starting to get a little bit more expensive but hey, i figured i'd at least show these off to you because they are somewhat related of what we're looking for today this is not a set that i've been talking about in the video guys but one that i've been thinking about starting lately is the Goonies set. That was a movie that I watched as a kid. Me and my family re-watched that probably close to a hundred times, I swear. But this would be a good start to that set, guys. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking about picking up Chunk today. 
Okay, I wanted to show off a couple in here, guys. I've been trying to maybe piece together the Scooby-Doo set. I don't think I'm going to pick this one up today, but I am looking for Velma. I am also looking for some of the original Toy Story Pops as well. I do have Buzz Lightyear, but I do not have Woody. But I think those are more expensive of what we're willing to spend today. But hey, I figured I'd at least show those off to you. Pretty solid Pops, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I bought my Pop from Pop City, Utah. Actually, you can kind of see it through the bag right there. But there is one more surprise store that we're going to visit while we're here that you guys actually have never seen before. And that would be this store right here. It's called Deluxe Streetwear, but guys, they have a decent selection of Funko Pops. I've never filmed a video in here before, but I don't know. I feel like we might be able to find a couple things that we're looking for today in here. Not going to lie, guys, they actually have a really cool setup right here with a couple of awesome pieces. Not ones that we're looking for today, but you got like Ghostface, some of the original Killer Clowns in there, got Spider-Man. Yeah, and they, they've got a bunch more. Okay, I know this isn't Funko Pop related, guys, but they have this really cool, is it like kind of cut the rope game? I don't even know what you would call it, but for sneakers. I've actually seen this with Funko Pops before, but never sneakers. That's actually pretty sweet. But yeah, folks, they have a pretty solid Funko Pop selection in here. You can see some Disney, some anime, some movies. What else we got up there? Walking Dead. I'm not really looking for those ones today, but those are some older ones you don't see every day. Up here, they have some really solid horror pieces. If you guys want to take a look at those, Really cool signature right there. Reagan from The Exorcist. That's pretty sweet. Okay, folks, I'm down in this display case right here, and I do notice one that we are looking for. Can you guys see it right there? It's Pedro from Napoleon Dynamite. 60 is a little steep, guys. It goes for around, I think, like 40 to 45. So maybe I might be able to barter on that one, but I'll ask about it for sure. But they have some other really good ones in here from, like, Family Guy. Been thinking about starting that set, but I don't think we're going to do it today. But some cool Disney, some Elf, and a bunch of really awesome Stranger Things pops that are in here, too. So some good ones in this case. But yeah, folks, they have a good selection of Marvel right here. I'm hoping I don't get copyrighted with the music, but there's some anime and some other really cool pieces in here. But if you want to take a look at more of the store, there it is. Well, I would consider that a success, guys. They ended up working me a deal on one of those pops. And I'll show you guys what I got when we get back home. Okay, folks, back at home, and uh, we actually found some pretty good stuff. You know, I'll be honest, I did not intend to start any other new sets today, but when I saw something in a display case, I knew I had to have it. Well, the thing that I'm talking about right here is a good old chunk. And the reason why I was swayed to start the Goonie collection today is because I had a ton of credit over at Pop City from all the different pops that I bought, and so this pop ended up being completely free. But I absolutely love the Goonies movie, guys. I watched it a lot growing up as a kid with my family. We, we It was on repeat like tons of different times. And so this will be an awesome set to complete for sure. I mean, you can see all the ones that are on the back right there with all the different kids and also Sloth. So I'm sure this one will make a great video series in the future. So from the first place we actually visited, guys, from the Nerd Store, and this wasn't even in their pop-up shop. This was in their normal shop. I was able to get Kip. And another pop from this line from that other store we went to, I was able to get Pedro. And you're probably thinking, Mason, this is a really weird set to complete. Well, I have a lot of sentimental value for Napoleon Dynamite, and my dad actually grew up where this movie was filmed in Idaho. And so we've been on the whole, you know, movie tour of all the different sites and everything. We even went to Napoleon Dynamite days for crying out loud. Anyways, let's give you a good look at both of these guys. So we got Pedro right there. Off I love that he's got his little mustache going on right there and his overall, he's got the little, uh, you call those as a bolo tie. Maybe it's a bolo tie. Right here we have good old Kip and he's holding up the sign, you know, waiting for La Fonda. Oh my goodness, such a cult classic comedy. Now let me go grab the other ones that we have and then I'll let you know which one I'm missing. So the two that I already had was Deb and also Uncle Rico. So now obviously we're just missing Napoleon. And for sure that could be another video that we could do here in the future, but we are just one pop away from completing such a strange and like old rare vaulted set. And folks, that is going to do it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. I definitely do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below, is there a set that you are currently after that you are trying to piece together? Obviously, I have a ton of them, and I bet you guys would have a couple, so let me know in the comment section below. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one here. But regardless, remember to be kind to one another. I always promote positivity. I will see you in the next video. Catch you guys later. Wow.